She's reading a book. Give me a closer face. Wait, wait, wait. So she snuck out of a classroom to go read books. Seems legit. Uh, keep me in close to her face, which makes her look like she's really into it. No way she's acting today. I had a, her peg that's more of a delinquent uh, than a bookworm. In fact, her mysterious appearance in the class raises all sorts of whys in my head. Intrigue floats uh, Intrigue floats uh, slowly but surely towards the surface, and, I, and before I know it, I'm walking towards the mysterious long-haired girl. <laughs> I guess there's no harm in introducing myself, as I would with anyone else. She's a classmate after all. Walking over to another beanbag, I think I see him lay my books beside it. Uh, the girl star starts looking scaredly up at me from underneath her fridge. <laughs> this is the first time I've seen her this close. Underneath her long, dense bangs, I can see that part of her face. At least third, if not half. It's pretty badly scarred. No shit. But she looks cute though! Well, it's for the obvious, but still. Still. My eyes are immediately drawn to the scars, subconsciously peeking past her hair until they meet her, her own eyes. You fucking idiot, I swear. How do you not know how to handle this situation? I'd be like, well, hello, how you doing? My name is Caesar. I noticed you have a scarring. Um, if you don't, if you don't, I don't wish to know why it's like that. You know, we all have our own problems, but you know, it's your business. If you want to tell me about it one day, tell me about it. If not, let's go. Just how you doing? That's it. You gotta have confidence, goddammit! And of course, ease into it, because I mean... Um, if someone has scarring, it's either from birth defect or something, because god damn. I'm being real. Fuck everyone. I'm being real. For a second, I am shocked and divert my eyes into the book in her hands. <laughs> Before I realize that looking away probably only makes it worse. No shit. It takes so many seconds to collect myself, and I remember what I, wa I walked up to her for. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to startle you. Hi, I'm, the, I'm, I'm new here. Sonic Kai. We're in the same class. That's a little rude. I just quit the first one, the fuck? Sorry, I didn't mean to startle you. It, it's okay. The girl certainly does look like it's okay, but I'll let it slide. Wait, what? The girl certainly doesn't look like it's okay. All right. So, um, do you mind if I sit here? She seems to be very uncertain whether it's okay or not for me to sit. But finally, she nods just a little. Uh, okay. I take the seat next to her, and she hides herself be uh, behind her book. Life of Pi. Never heard of it. Fuck. <laughs> Sir, sorry again for startling you. I'm a cell. She looks up from her book, uh, stalling a little before replying. Oh, she's so nervous. I like shy chicks. Fuck you. I just like shy chicks, alright? I know. We are in the same class. S or wait, we are in the same same class. Her speech is stilled and so quiet that it, it barely it is barely audible. Even in the still library. You know, I'm kinda interested in doing her path. Oh shit. Somehow I think that my delinquent impression was of her was wrong. No, you think? <laughs> Anaka. I'm Anaka. <laughs> Awkward. <laughs> I resist the urge to say that's a nice name. Just has something to say, but really, that's the only thing I can think of. I feel like an idiot. Everyone here must be used to being different to each other. And here I am being all bothered and fussed about that kind of thing. Don't let me interrupt your reading. I'll uh, just check these books, if you don't mind. She nods a little and sighs a little sigh of relief. Oh, I'm all right. So I'm assuming, I'm assuming, she doesn't like talking to people. Which I mean, I you know, I mean, what she has, it's kind of I I can see why. You know, I can understand that. <clears throat> so I try to read the covers and introductions to the books I picked up, and she buries her face in her book. <laughs> she likes you. I'm playing. Uncomfortable science consumes us. Well, where are you sitting? Are you sitting in front of her? Because if you're sitting in front of her, um, what the fuck? If you're sitting next to her on the side, all right, you know, that's whatever. But I still wanted her direction. A sneak peeks at her flowing hair and, this, and the scars it's hiding. You're sitting in front of her, aren't you? Cool. You're a fucking idiot. <laughs> After a while, I realized that she's doing the same and only pertaining to immerse in the life of Pi. Her gaze is not inquisitive wait inquisitive at all though it darts around like a scared, scared rabbit when our gaze is finally meet the chain reaction is unstoppable huh whoa yo I like her body yo you know what fuck everybody's judging me I dig the body alright fuck you guys she stands up forcefully wait uh, you know what you make a dick if you're saying ill so there you go she stands up forcefully from the beanbag and takes a deep breath 
I, 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 I. I'm gonna do something. <laughs> what the fuck kind of shit is this? Without warning, Kanago takes off. None of that's out of the way. Well, warning, Hanago takes off and runs towards the counter. Her hair like takeoff catches me so off guard that I don't manage to go after her until she has a good start, head start. Poof. By the time I reach the counter, she's nowhere to be seen. Lydia and Yuko are happily chatting away. Knowing that I won't be able to catch Hanago myself, I approach the girls. Hey, did you or uh, notice the girl that ran past here? Uh, maybe. What does she look like? Long dark hair, kind of shy. She had a little um, scars on her face. You can't just say she had purple fucking dark hair. Who the fuck else has dark purple dark hair, motherfucker? God. You wouldn't be talking about Hanako, would you? Yeah, that's her. I started reading and tried to talk to her, but I think I scared her off or something. Oh, dear. You go. Would you please excuse me? I had better try to find her. You. Really, you. Not to be a dick, but come on. Whatever. You know what? No. Y'all do you. Whatever. Sh sure. I'll hold on to these until you come back, or you can drop it off at your place. I'm, I'm just, I'm just saying. I'm super saying. I guess I'll watch the Sci Fox anyway. Um, what's going on? I'm sorry, but I have to explain to you in just another time. Ah, so we cool like that now. That's what's up. Right. Um, I'll see you later then. And oh, this is awkward. Lily hastily grabs her cane and hurries out to the library, leaving me alone with Yuko. I don't think I ever get a, a hang of this place. Did I do something wrong? What did you do? Nothing! I was just looking at some books and then she got bit and ran off. The most offending thing I could think of was that I might have looked in her general direction a few times. Well, she is a very timid girl. Yeah, true. You have to be very careful around her. She can be very jumpy, I think. She's not accustomed to talking to other people. Isn't that a bit of strange? Really, dude? You really? Alright. It's not your dick. <laughs> I wonder. It's just how she is, I think. You get this sound at all convincing. Then again, maybe this is just the normal around here. Everyone has their own problems or else they wouldn't be here, you know? How should I deal with these people? Don't... Don't cheat them as different people. Cheat them as you, you fucking idiot. Cheat them as they were someone else. God! Forcing myself to act overly, casually, only makes me feel phony. Oh, you know, I can see that kind of side. All right, I can see that. Um, like I was supposed to be ignoring the elephant in the room. You got fish is looking like she wants to say something, but resist it. I think it's only an elephant if you feel that way. That's the most deepest shit I've heard from you today, you go Good. <laughs> Somebody get this lady some pussy. I'm sorry, some dick. Kenji, get the fuck out of here. Here's some dick. <laughs> All right, so anyway. I guess she doesn't have a good sense of self-restraint. It makes you smile, and she blushes heavily. What? Did I say something stupid? No, 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 that really sounded wise. I guess you're right. It's more about me than anyone else. What? Okay. Neither of us have anything, anything to add. So you could use files of signs, fill the signs and shuffling some papers around. Why does everyone that have papers in front of them do that shit? Fuck the papers. Fuck. People who have papers on the desk really like doing that. Thank you, Sal. Did you find any books? I should be closing soon. I mean, this library should be closing, but I have to do it. And I hope that's not too inconvenient for 